Hello everybody, this is Adam for WP Mayor, and in today's tutorial we're going to show you the Send in Blue WooCommerce add-on plugin. So once the plugin is installed and activated, you'll find the settings under the WooCommerce settings area. And after you've activated your API key for Send in Blue, you'll see a new tab here called Send in Blue. And once that API key is activated, you'll see these additional settings and also some of your account information. And you can also log out. And down here you'll see some statistics if you have them. So let's go through some of these menu settings. We'll go to subscription options. And here you'll see the subscription options, whether you can enable or disable the ability for people to subscribe. Uh, which of course you do want. So uh, here you can choose the subscribe event. So people can be added to your Send in Blue email list when an order is created or when an order is completed. I'm going to choose order completed because I don't want anybody added to my list uh, unless they do complete their order. You will also see a listing of your lists. Right now you see list one because that is the default list created when I created my Send in Blue account. You can also choose to uh, enable the double opt-in, which forces users to receive an email and confirm their subscription. And you can also display an opt-in field, so they're not automatically subscribed. You can let your users choose whether they want to be subscribed or not. And if we go over here to the email options menu item, you can enable or disable the ability for Send in Blue to send the WooCommerce emails. This is, of course, what you do want to do. You want your WooCommerce emails to be sent through your Send in Blue account. And down here, you can choose the notification activation. So you can choose to send emails when there is a new order, when their order is being processed, when an order is refunded, if it's, a, if it's a new account, a completed order, or a canceled order. So uh, I would, uh, if I were you, uh, which I am not, I would choose uh, maybe one or some of these. Uh, I like to keep my emails to a minimum for our customers and make sure that they're only receiving emails that they find valuable. Uh, a new order, of course, is uh, one that is valuable. Processing order, it is valuable, but maybe not so much. It really depends on uh, what it is you're selling. Uh, so you, anyway, you can choose from any of those six. And down here you can choose to continue using the WooCommerce email templates and for ease of use I would recommend that unless you want to get more fine-grained and detailed and create your own templates in your Send in Blue account which there are many many email uh, template design choices there so that may be something you want to choose to do. Simply save your changes and move on to the next. Now, as I wrote in the article, this is my favorite part of Send in Blue service, and that's the SMS options or text messages. So you can enable or disable the ability to send SMS messages from your Send in Blue account. You can also choose which customer notifications get text messages, whether it's an order confirmation or an order shipment. Uh, and for my purposes, I would like to only send a text when an order has been shipped. And you can see you can ch choose the sender you can create a personalized message using some uh, variables here and then you can test that uh, text message send to make sure it's going to work the way you expect if you choose order confirmation same thing you have some customization option options here but what I like to do actually is use this to just send SMS campaigns. So these are more on-demand rather than automatic text messages that go out with certain triggers. So if you choose SMS campaign, what it allows you to do is you can first you can choose a single contact, you can choose all of your WordPress customers, or you can choose only those WordPress customers that have subscribed to your email list. So, so if your email list subscription is optional, then you may not hit all of your customers with a text message. You may only hit the subscribed ones. So for a single contact, you simply put in the contact's phone number, uh, the sender name, the message, and again you have variables here to use, and then you can send a test message. And it's a similar process when you choose all of your WordPress customers 
or when you choose only subscribed customers. So as you can see, the settings here are fairly simple, but they're very, very useful for integrating Sendinblue with your WooCommerce store.